out and welcome back to Yes Guy Gaming. And we're back with another episode of Haiku Reaction Commentary, and we're in the middle of Karasuno versus Oh My Joe Sai. Who knows if this game is going to end in this episode, but I'm getting into the intricacies of this game. I'm a former volleyball player and coach. I'm trying to bring some analysis to this game and try to see what's real, what's not, what's fun. Ah, most of it's fun. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm ready to jump into this thing. Let's go. Oh no, we're flashing back to after they won. Oh, Yamaguchi goes to Yukai and apologizes. Okay, so we flash back to their conversation that they didn't show us before with Yamaguchi and Yukai, where he apologizes for wasting his chance in the last game. But in the last game, he served a net flipper ace and then got the next serve in. He was a perfect serving sub. He got an ace and didn't miss. So he's going and apologizing for a chance. Yeah, he didn't jump float. He stood and float and just got it in and they didn't get the point, but he got an ace on his serve. Like he got an ace and then he cowered away. So like, okay, it's not the worst thing in the world. So, but he begs him for one more chance, I guess. And Yukai in this moment's like, all right, I gotta, I gotta keep an eye out for your next chance. So I guess is this Yamaguchi's chance? Is he ready to go in with a tough jump floater? We don't see many players do the jump float. All right, so we got Mad Dog back to serve still. And he's, he's been ripping. He's been pounding this whole game. Overpass, overpass and they pound it. So Krasno's falling even further behind. Oh, they're way down. So as I says, drop back and give yourself more time to pass it. I mean, that's not a bad idea, but if he does hit it short, you're just not gonna get there. Nice pass, Tanaka. Got it. Back to Hinata who pounds. Okay, Hinata hasn't really been scoring though. So good for Hinata to get a point here. Okay, so they're subbing in Yamaguchi to serve for Hinata. Cause I guess Hinata serves weak. This is a common strategy where you do a serving sub in for the middles. The middles tend to have weaker uh, serves for some reason, I don't know, not all the time. And are play worse D. So you bring in a serving sub for those guys. How do these girls know that he got stiff and failed miserably the last time? Were they watching? I thought they were fans of Oikawa. Everyone's talking to him before he serves, like, just let him go. J just leave him alone. Like you're making him more nervous. Oh God, this thing, these guys again. Oh my God. If that won't put you on edge, what will? Okay, so the old guy in the pink sweater is giving Yamaguchi some advice about serving and saying you have eight seconds after the whistle blows to serve, which is true, you do. You don't have to serve right away. I mean, if you wait too long, the ref will blow the whistle. It will count as a missed serve because you waited too long. But you don't have to go as soon as the whistle blows. You can wait a few seconds. Um, you can take your time. You, it, you know, you can change up the tempo. Like if you want to go right after the whistle, surprise them or just wait for a little bit, make them a little bit uncomfortable. That is a strategy and you should use it. So this guy's being nice. I don't think this guy played much when he played. So he's being nice to Yamaguchi as a serving sub, a pinch server. So he's letting him know. It's 23-18 though. They're going to lose this set. Like they're going to lose this set. So I don't know what we're, we're hamming this up about for Yamaguchi. There you go. Whistle's blown. Take a breath. All right, here we go. Jump float, bud. Nice. Feels good. It's in. Is it out? He's calling it out. But it floats and it's in. <laughs> Let's go, Yamaguchi, with the ace, my guy. Let's go. Yes! <laughs> okay, everyone's hype about that. Still down by four. Still down by four, everybody. Oh, those chicks like it. What? Yeah, they're supposed to be cheering for Oikawa. Yeah, these guys have it right. Isn't that overboard? It's one more point. They're still down by four. They're still way behind in the game. I mean, good for Yamaguchi, but he got an ace previously. He got a previously ace, a no-touch ace? You got an ace before, my guy. It went off the net flipper. I mean, good for him. Like, he should feel good, but like, come on. Okay, still down by three, actually. Okay, my bad. Still down by three, but like, there's a lot of game to go. He's gonna pull out three more of those? That'd be awesome. Oh, and Oshida. Oh, he knows how, he knows how Yamaguchi was feeling about the cowardice and running away. But then you come back and it fills you with confidence. And Oshida knows, okay. Yamaguchi's redemption is coming. So I just realized this. Um, we we basically never see any of these players receive serve with an overhand pass. We only ever see them forearm pass, which I, I just realized this. I don't know why we've never talked about this before, but they basically never volley it. And on tough float serves, you'll often see. I don't I don't like this. I prefer to forearm pass everything. I never really hand pass, but you'll see a lot of teams step up in the court and try to cut off those float serves with a hand pass early, so that it doesn't have a chance to really float and do that weird stuff like we just saw and really, you know, stress you out. 
But we haven't seen that any of that here. It makes me wonder, is it either a rule? Like, because in some leagues, in here, you're not allowed to hand pass the first ball until you're 16 years old, which, I mean, these guys are probably older than that, so that's not that big a deal. Or maybe it's just a cultural thing, like they just don't do that. But, yeah, I mean, hand, pa hand passing, like volleying the first ball, is definitely a thing you can do. Yeah, I mean, they're talking about serving, and everything they're saying about serving is right. Like, it's a solitary play. Oh, has volleyball evolved? Look at these old uniforms. The serves power motive has evolved more than anything else. It's true. You get jump serves now. Absolutely. You don't want to jump and serve, hit a jump float. It's an attack, for sure. It's a way you can score points. Here he goes again. It's floating hard. Floats at the last minute. Catches him right in the shoulder. Nice. There's an ace on Mad Dog. Let him know. There's another ace. Let's go, Yamaguchi. It's about time somebody brought a jump float. We've got all these standing float servers. Get the jump float going. I've been saying that for everybody. Okay, it's 21-23. So they still need to come back. They're still down. He goes again with a nice jump float. You catch jump float. He did it! He hand passed. It's the first hand pass we've seen. He just went and did it. He did exactly that. Oh my gosh. Okay, cool. Okay, Yamaguchi, you gotta make a dig now, buddy. Like, you have to make a dig. So they go pipe to their ace. Okay, Yamaguchi, you hit it with the body. Is it up? You get hit right in the chest. Oh, great up, Kagiyama. Suki, go up and pound it, big guy. Or tip. Oh, what? That was sick. We've never seen him work on that. Like a little just dinky roll shot short. Love that. Or did it hit the block? No, it looked like it went straight. Oh, well. They're within one. Yamaguchi, let's go. Don't serve it at that guy who knows how to, who knows how to hand pass it. Oh, forces a timeout from the coach. Absolutely, that's what you do. It's a great timeout by him, actually. I really like that. You goof up four points in a row, even if you're still up by one, you take that timeout. All right, let's go, Yamaguchi. You're back out after the timeout. We didn't really hear any strategy talk. We're just all in on Yamaguchi. Yeah, so you want to keep it as low to the net as possible. You don't want to hit it into the tape. Oh, another net flipper? I mean, this is what happens when you put in pressure serves, is it tends to happen that you go low to the net and you get those net flippers. So is it dropping straight down on their side? Like, is this an ace happening? Where is this going? Another ace, net flipper, absolutely Yamaguchi. That's what happens when you serve aggressively. Those things come your way. It's not luck, that's an aggressive serve that, yeah, you got a bit fortunate at the end. Everyone's hype about it. Oh, you guys are gonna say the same thing. No, it's not just luck. It's all tied up because of Yamaguchi. Comes in and rips three aces. I mean, 23 all, 23 all. Now is where we get into the intense situations. Yamaguchi, the pressure's on. He got a net flipper to tie it up. Unbelievable. It's completely different from the one during the Wakuna. No, it's not any completely different. It's not, it's not. Guys, like that net, he got an ace previously. That really bothers me. Am I the only one? He gets an ace and everyone's like, oh, you scared. Okay, so he's saying, he switched to offense. So you get that net flipper because you're being aggressive. Which is true, I do support that. Like, when you serve aggressively, those things tend to happen for you. All right, here's back serving again. Tough float. Did he hit it? Oh, it has a bit of spin. It's not a heavy float, so the guy takes it easy. Another hand pass, though. Suki had some eye thing. Soft block by Suki. You have a chance, let's go, Yamaguchi. Make the dig. Oh, okay, or Tanaka's got it. Okay, over to Asai. They got a triple on Asai. The tip is open, Asai. I've never seen Asai tip. Oh, he hits it off the block's hands. It's a recycle. This is a crazy rally. Out! That's a tool! We haven't seen that in a while, where it goes off the block and out the back. That happens sometimes, it is rare. You gotta hit it really hard. Now Karasuno has match point, all of a sudden. Yamaguchi's still serving. Everyone's, everyone's praying. Everyone's hopeful. Let's go Yamaguchi, just pop in another ace, bud. You have three so far. Okay, feels good. He said it feels good, he pulled it right in the seam there. It's moving. It's moving a lot. Libero's going for it. Takes it with a hand pass. Absolutely. Absolutely hand pass. Okay, outside. Oh, pipe. No block on this guy? He's their ace, so he better put it away. Oh, he scored. Yamaguchi. Couldn't make that dig, buddy. Would Daichi have made the dig? Uh, he was at the net blocking. Yeah, bring it back in. Absolutely. Yamaguchi. Applause for you, buddy. That was magnificent. You got a bunch of aces. You kept it going. Absolutely. You made one dig. That's a real positive move for Yamaguchi. Okay, so we're tied up at 24. So Yamaguchi brought the team back in the game. They're ripping Daichi with the pass. Let's go. Okay, you got to side out to earn another match point. You just pound it through the block, Asai. Let's go, boys. Hinata is not even on the court if these boys are going to win without Hinata. Let's go. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Win without Hinata. Oh, they side out right back. 
Okay, it's 25 all. 25 all. Crossbow serving isn't that great. It's not as good as Obai Josai. So we have, they have a few good serve. Back quick to Tsuki. Pounds. Tsuki's not been as much of an offensive guy, so they must be passing well, though. Like, to run middle, you have to get a good pass. Okay, Asai's got a pretty good serve. So maybe they'll get a chance here on, on a pressure serve from Asai. I guess they pass it up pretty well, though, because it's a tense situation. Yep. It's long? No, he's going to cut it off. Yeah, you knew that was going to happen. He brings it back to the middle and pounds. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you knew that was going to happen. In modern volleyball, the serve is a powerful attack that won't get caught by the wall known as the block. Yeah, so you can rip a serve and there's no block. You can't legally block a serve, so it's your chance to actually take a free spike. It's true. So we got Oikawa, Oikawa back to serve, and he's got a crazy serve. We know he's got a good serve, so Krasno's in tough here, even though they do have the advantage now. Okay, Nishinoya shanks it right up into the stands. So that's an ace for Oikawa. Big play from the captain. Big play from the captain. You're tied up, you go up and rip an ace, give your team the advantage now, huge play from him. Oh, so he brings in Asai to pass. So they go three-man pass. They were doing only two-man pass before, which makes no sense. On a tough spin serve, you gotta go three-man pass. <laughs> I love that both teams are just yelling back and forth at each other, like, what? Okay, Oikawa takes a rip. Right at Daichi. He keeps it alive. But is it an overpass? Oh, the guy pounds it down, onion head, but dug by Tanaka. Kagama saves it to Asai in the back row, though. He pounds, but it's a dug. It's dug. Okay. Oh, here comes Mad Dog. He wants to end this set. Are they going to set him, though? No, they don't set him. They set the ace in the back row. They set him in the back row a lot. And he pounds it for the set. Okay. So, oh, by Josai takes the set. Wow. Yep. So, big plays by them. Their serving is a problem. They, I will say, like, they did dramatize and get us up and all up and in those tense moments there in that game. So, it was exciting. But they did skip over, and this is the thing when you're in a tight match and you have a match point. So Krasno had, I think, two match points, like chances where if they earn a point, they win the game. And they just kind of breezed over those and had Obai Dosai quickly side out and score on those. And we didn't really get to see what they even tried, like who served, what they did. Like that would have been nice to see, like, did, was it because it was an easy serve that they passed up well and pounded a middle attack? Like... Who served that? Are we just standing floating? Like, if Kageyama had been back there ripping, like, would they have such an easy side out? I don't know, but that's really what you want on match point is to put as much pressure on them. You gotta earn a point to win the game. That's your chance. So when you lose a set 28-26, you gotta look back. Did you have any match points? Yes, they had two, and those are two big missed opportunities. I mean, it's actually great advice by Tanaka to put away, like, grasp the good feeling and enjoy it when you have it because, I mean, that's how you build confidence. You can't just minimize the good plays you make. No, celebrate that, because you want to do it again later. So Daichi's thinking back to all the times they played these guys. And they lost. A few times. And now, we're having our most intense match yet, because they're actually taking it to a third set. So I think this is maybe one of the first third sets we've seen of Krasno. So, I mean, this is really where the intensity ramps up. But, I mean, I think they played to 25 points. Okay, so that's it for the episode. Apparently, this, this one match is going to take several episodes, which I'm totally about. I'm fine with that. There was only a few interesting things in that one because they showed the serving run with them coming back. I mean, there wasn't a ton different going on there. We didn't see that many points. Like, I think it was 23-18. We only saw the end of that that uh, second set. So, I mean, some cool stuff, though. Some serving. Like, the serving is definitely a huge theme in that episode and letting us know. I mean, that's why Obai Josai won that set. I mean, Yamaguchi brought them back in, but generally, Obai Josai's serving was a lot better, and Karasuno couldn't pass and keep it together. Plus, Obai Josai inevitably was able to figure out the float serve and, uh, and bring those hand passes into play, which is why they were able to side out eventually and not just keep shanking the ball. So, I mean, that was a huge theme there. We'll see what the theme is next episode, but um, we saw a lot of that here. So, anyways, I'm excited for the next episode. I'm hyped. Obviously, we're, not, we're probably not going to get to the final or something in this season, so I don't know what the heck's going to happen because there's only a few episodes left in this season, so maybe they lose or or do they win and then we start the finals in the next season? I don't know what's going to happen, but anyways, I'm hyped for looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you next time on Hit Sky Gaming.